Oh, they look at all those buddies right there. They're all over. The leaf hoppers carry a virus called Aster's yellow. And when their mouth parts penetrate the leaves, they infect the plant with that virus and begin to kill the plant. When a pest gets to a certain level, it's gonna cause crop loss. And that's why we have to be here all the time. We are known as crop dusters, but we are aerial applicators. We haven't been putting out any dust for many, many decades. This type of flying is really unique. There is very little time spent in straight and level flight. There's no autopilot, and the aircraft is constantly being maneuvered by the pilot. It's a skill set that takes time to develop, and to me, it's the type of flying that I want to do. We're at the world headquarters of Dairyland Aviation here in Waupon, Wisconsin. Flying is a family tradition. I was about four or five years old and uh, was walking on the property alongside my dad and I just told him that uh, when I grow up, I wanna be a pilot like you, Dad. My grandfather is Roy Reby. He was a transport pilot during World War II. When the war ended, Grandpa started the crop dusting company in the late 1940s here in Waupon. The amount of work that I can cover in an hour compared to what Grandpa could do with his first airplane is a factor of about 15. <laughs> it's changed so much and I think he'd just really love to be here to see it. So the airplane is quite sophisticated as you can see. I go to my uh, GPS tablet and I select how I'm going to spray the field. And the field's shape and what's around the field will determine which one of these patterns I select. The optimum height is a boom height of approximately eight foot, which puts the wheels at approximately five feet. I don't view it as dangerous. Every pilot that flies an aircraft has to be able to land it. And when you land, you have to know where your wheels are visually, right? So while it seems like a really difficult thing to do, knowing how high your wheels are above the ground is actually just part of flying. It's all about safety. We take a lot of precautions. We are looking for obstructions and people near the field the idea of being a daredevil simply doesn't fit. It requires all of your attention and all of your mental processes to fly and particularly be an aerial applicator. It's fun. I'm in a place where all of my thoughts are focused on doing the job. And when that happens, everything else goes away. It's just a wonderful feeling.